Earth Unleashed. A winter of fire and mud. Yellowstone, Etna, Kilauea, and Sumeru. All erupt. Winter 2025 is proving that cold seasons do not calm the Earth. Instead, across four continents, volcanoes and geothermal systems are awakening, erupting through snow, ice, rain, and darkness, reminding humanity that the planet's internal engine never sleeps. From the frozen geyser basins of Yellowstone National Park to the snow-covered slopes of Mount Etna in Italy, across the Pacific to the relentless fire fountains of Kilauea in Hawaii, and finally, to the deadly mud lava flows of Mount Semeru in Indonesia, scientists are watching a rare convergence of geological unrest unfold in real time. Yellowstone, Black Diamond Pool erupts in deep winter. In late December 2025, visitors and scientists alike were stunned as Black Diamond Pool, located in Yellowstone's Biscuit Basin, erupted during one of the coldest periods of the year. Snow blanketed the ground, steam fogged the air, and then, suddenly, mud, water, and debris burst violently from the pool breaking the winter silence. Unlike volcanic eruptions that involve molten magma, this event was a hydrothermal eruption, a powerful explosion caused when underground water, trapped beneath mineral seals, flashes instantly into steam. The pressure release was sudden and violent, ejecting material outward and upward despite freezing temperatures. Scientists emphasize that winter eruptions are especially dangerous. Snowmelt and ice can seal fractures underground, allowing pressure to build silently. When that pressure finally escapes, the resulting blast can occur without warning. The Black Diamond Pool has a history of sudden changes, but its winter eruption raised alarms because it follows months of increased seismicity, ground deformation, and shifting hydrothermal behavior across Yellowstone. Monitoring instruments recorded subtle tremors before the eruption, not earthquakes felt by humans, but signals deep within the hydrothermal plumbing system. Authorities quickly closed nearby boardwalks, warning that hydrothermal explosions are unpredictable and potentially deadly, capable of hurling rocks and boiling water hundreds of meters. Scientists stress, this is not a supervolcano eruption, but it is undeniable proof that Yellowstone remains very much alive. Mount Etna, fire on ice as Europe's giant erupts again. As Yellowstone steamed under snow, Mount Etna erupted once more on the 29th of December 2025, adding to one of the most active eruptive periods in its modern history. Europe's tallest and most active volcano sent lava fountains hundreds of meters into the winter sky illuminating Sicily's frozen slopes with an orange glow visible for miles. Ash plumes drifted eastward, lightly dusting towns and forcing aviation warnings. What made this eruption especially dramatic was the contrast. Snow-covered terrain and flowing lava. Thermal cameras captured rivers of molten rock cutting through ice-lined channels, producing explosive steam clouds where lava met snow. Volcanologists observed intense tremor signals, indicating magma rising rapidly through Etna's central conduit. Once again, speculation surged online claims that Etna could collapse into the sea, triggering a massive tsunami. 
Scientists responded carefully, but firmly. Yes, Etna's eastern flank is slowly sliding fronds. No, there is no evidence of imminent catastrophic collapse. However, they acknowledge that persistent eruptions weaken volcanic structures over time, and Etna remains under constant surveillance using satellites, GPS stations, and seismic networks. Winter eruptions on Etna are not unheard of, but their increasing frequency suggests a sustained magma supply from deep beneath the African-Eurasian plate boundary. Kilauea erupts for the 39th time in 2025. While Europe watched Etna, the Pacific witnessed a staggering milestone. Kilauea erupted for the 39th episode of 2025, capping off one of the most active years in the volcano's recorded history. Inside Halamauma'u crater, towering lava fountains surged skyward, feeding lava lakes that glowed intensely against the night sky. These eruptions were not explosive in the traditional sense, but they were relentless, powered by a deep mantle hotspot that continues to feed magma upward. Each eruptive episode followed a familiar pattern. Sudden increase in seismic tremor, rapid inflation of the summit, violent lava fountaining, gradual deflation as magma drains. Despite the spectacle, USGS confirmed that lava remains confined within the summit, posing no immediate threat to residential areas. Still, volcanic gases, especially sulfur dioxide, reached hazardous levels downwind. Scientists note that 39 eruption episodes in a single year is extraordinary reinforcing Kilauea's reputation as one of the most persistently active volcanoes on Earth. Indonesia, Sameru's deadly mud lava flows. While Hawaii burned, Indonesia drowned in volcanic mud. Mount Semeru, the highest volcano on Java, continued erupting through December 2025, sending ash plumes skyward and triggering dangerous lahars or volcanic mud flows. Heavy monsoon rains mixed with fresh volcanic ash and debris, creating fast-moving rivers of mud and rock that surge down river channels. These lahars behaved like wet concrete, destroying everything in their path. 